I'll follow you in after you've finished. Killing everyone inside. Yes, that. So this is where they've been hiding. You were right to suggest we look here, but they've been dealt with. We still need to find out what they were doing here in the first place. Let's look around. Athenian and Spartan uniforms. They could have the people of Samos believe they were attacking from either side. didn't take the followers of Ares to be lovers of poetry. They're not. This work, it's awfully close to the style Theodorus uses. Why would his writings be here? I didn't take them for the heirloom type. How did they? That's our family's sigil. They must have stolen it. There's no way they could have found that on their own. It was given to them. aren't like any I've seen before. I have. They're Persian.
There is a list of names here. I recognize these names. They're all quite influential on Samus. But Missos is missing. I'm afraid to even say what I think is going on here. I'll say it. Persia wants to take Samos. I think you're right. It's close enough to places like Athens and Sparta, but small enough to not draw their attention. Makes sense. Unfortunately, that's not the worst part. What is it? If Persia is involved, they couldn't have done this alone. They would have needed someone here to help them. Someone with ties to the Empire. And influence on Samos. Yes, other than myself, there are only two others who could be responsible for what's going to happen and for what already has. <sighs> Herodotus. With everything we've found, everything you've seen and heard, please, just tell me which of them it is. It's Theodoros. He's working for the Persians, and brought the followers of Ares here. I was afraid you'd say that. But I know you must be right. What do you want to do now? I need to talk to Theodoros. I don't understand why he'd do this. Dragmi can be a powerful motivator, as can the promise of power. But he already had both of those. I know you want to understand it all. But we don't always get the answers we seek. It's as if you've forgotten that you no longer live here, Irodados. We know what you did. We found the cave where the followers of Ares were hiding. Why are you working for the Persians? The people of Samos don't deserve to be subjected to the same things we were. Or do you not remember why we left in the first place? How dare you? Everything I've done has been for the good of Samos. I wish to free Samos from this war. But for you to accuse me of handing it to the Persians... Did you order them to kill our parents? Or was it a mistake on their part? I... You should have never come back here! Theodoros! I know that wasn't easy for you, but it's not over yet. We tasked ourselves with protecting Samos, and it's not yet safe. We need to go after him. Where to? To find Mistor, and Theodorus too. There's no way Theodorus could have ordered these troops to attack us. 
Can I show you? if you need anything else.
They'll be on high alert here. You should be safe now. Where is Mistor? After he ordered me locked up, he left. Seemed impatient. Uh, Theodorus. Not another word from you. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Once you've dealt with Mistor, you need to leave for good. Samos won't need you any longer. Neither will I. You know what needs to be done now, right? Unfortunately, I do. You can stay behind if you want. I can do it myself. No. I need to see him. I need to know why he did this. Okay, okay, you got me. How could you do this? After everything our family did for you, they took you in and you had them killed. That was an unfortunate accident. I promise you, I weep for their deaths every day. I can't trust anything you say. You betrayed Samos, your family. Not everything is black and white. Sometimes, People need others to make the best decision for them. And they're giving me Samos to rule. Tell me what the Persians are planning. Samos would make a good stronghold, don't you think? Why trick Theodoros into helping you? Allies are hard to come by, and Theodoros was more than willing. It doesn't matter now. The followers of Ares working for you are dead. Everyone will know what you did here. I'll make sure of it. Oh, I hope you do. 
I've always wanted my name to be remembered. However, you may not want to start writing just yet. What do you mean? The ships are already on their way. Let him go. We need to stop the ships. I'll meet you there. about Mistor. After his failure, he won't get a second chance. Plus, there's no way he'd stay on Samos now. About Theodoros. It was my fault you accused him. But only because I didn't trust myself enough to do so. But you trusted me. My trust in you was sound. It was still my choice to accuse him, not yours. Thank you for everything, Alexios. Without you, I couldn't have gotten through this. Mm. 
I sometimes feel like we've spent as much time at sea as on land. You may be right. We've traveled a lot together. I think it may be time I set off on my own. I knew it would happen one day, but I wish it didn't have to. I know. We've been through far more than most people will ever experience in their lives. But even so, it will be a weird feeling. It will take some getting used to. Well, where should I take you? The docks near Athens should do. There are some others I'd like to say goodbye to as well. I'm sure they'll be sorry to see you go. To Athens. I sometimes pinch myself to make sure that I'm awake and that all we went through truly happened. With your writings, it won't soon be forgotten either. The world will be better knowing. My mind is flooded with the memories of all we experienced. Do you have a favorite? How could I possibly decide? You opened my eyes to so much, uncovered so many secrets and mysteries that will change the course of the world. Your spear, and all it suggests. Atlantis, the cult. None of those things are mine alone to take credit for. You were there through it all. How could I ignore what was so clearly in front of me? You couldn't, which is why you have as much of a claim to all we did. I wonder what the great Eagle Bearer will remember best from this journey. We've been through a lot, but I'm not sure anything will ever match Atlantis. To think, we are some of the only people to know of its existence, of your true father. Which you promised you'd keep to yourself. Of course, of course. You may be leaving, but I'll find you if I have to. I guess this is it. As much as I'll miss our conversations, this is where our paths diverge. Where is your path taking you now? To Thuri. What's waiting for you there? That's the exciting part. I have no idea. I'm not sure anyone loves the unknown as much as you. It only stays that way until someone cares enough to make it known. In Thuri, that someone will be me. Will I see you again? Our paths may cross once more, and I hope they do. If that comes to pass after all, it likely means something big is following, close behind. Then I hope our adventures are nowhere near complete. I've never been great at saying goodbye. To do so is to impart a sense of finality, and we have no way of knowing if this truly is goodbye. 
Good luck in your travels, Herodotus. I can't wait to hear what you get yourself into. I'll share my stories with you, so long as you bring some new ones of your own. <laughs> I can do that. Let me know if you have questions.
I don't think I meant to be out this far. day.
Go on. Yeah. their grip on power? Off we go now. Come on! Yeah! 
Watch will be vigilant here. Ella. Easy now. Ella. Off we go now. 
Look at all that silver. So this is how Athens got so rich.
Better stay hidden. Let's go. Come on. 
You are you Alexios of House Ayad? I, I am Xanthi, magistrate of Pitana. I have a noble task befitting someone of your high station. My son is to start his military training at the Agogi. My husband is away at war, and I have official business to attend to. Can you escort him for me? I can escort your son to the camp master. Good. He'll learn how to be a man like his father and brother, or he'll die trying. But my service needs to be rewarded. Of course. You would be paid well for your time. And they say Spartans don't speak sweetly. My youngest is a dreamer. His head is filled with boyhood stories. He must learn how to serve his nation first, and then his family. It's not an easy path. He will find glory as a true Spartan soldier, or die bravely in the attempt. There is no greater way to honor Sparta. You'll find the Agogi camp southwest of here, near the foothills of the mountains. Makarios, come here. Hello. I'm Alexios. I am honored to meet you, Eagle Barrel. I can't wait to learn to fight like my brother Theoros, and to hear all your stories of deadly monsters and glorious adventures. This way, Alexios, the Agorgi is up in the mountains, so we can train closer to Olympus. What's it like being a mercenary? I do what I must to get by. My brother said the same thing about being a man in Sparta. We learn to fight, to die for our family and our country. I can't wait. You love your home, huh? I do. We are strong and we are free. And any man will happily give his life for his city, his fellow soldiers, and his children. So how many children do you have? Oh, no, none. But when I'm older, I'm going to marry Athena, and we'll have the strongest sons. <laughs> well then. Do you know why a Spartan soldier can lose his helmet or spear without worry? But if he loses his shield, he's punished beyond all measure. Tell me. It is because a soldier needs his helmet and spear to defend only himself. But his shield is dearly important for the safety of his brothers and the whole battle line. What of your brother? Theoros? He's the best. He's amazing to watch in the games. He's fast and strong, and he can throw the javelin and discus farther than anyone. Oh, yes. I'm faster than anyone my age, but Theodos is like Heracles himself. He sounds like a god made flesh. He's my hero. He even sings like Orpheus. Do you want to hear me sing? Though mother says I sing like a harpy. No, that's okay. I'll be glad to meet him. Kere. I bring you a new charge, trainer. Makarios, son of Serios. Yes, sir. I can't wait to see my brother. Quiet, boy. No questions. You'll focus on your own lessons and duties, and speak when spoken to. Yes, sir. You'll taste dirt and blood here. I'll force you to eat a thousand bitter lessons to harden you into the bronze shield your city needs. Yes, sir. Now, Mistios. You look like you've been in a few scrapes. A scrape or two. <laughs> Hundred. I like to think I've given as good as I've gotten. Ha. Spoken like a true warrior. What say we give these summer youths a spectacle? Show them a clash of titans! Let's give these kids a show they'll sing of for years. Hey, Wow, what a battle! You fought like Achilles! Ah, you do fight with the strength of the gods.
Now that we know you can fight, I have a serious matter to discuss. Oh? Two of my older students have gone missing. And I need someone I can trust to find them. They should know enough to take care of themselves. Yes. But the world is full of unexpected dangers, and I cannot leave my charges to investigate properly. I can look for them. Tell me what I need to know. What were their last orders? I had sent them to a lookout camp, where they were to survive on their own for a few days. It is up to them to treat it seriously. But when I went to check on them, there was no sign. What dangers did you expect them to face? The students learned to watch for wolves and bears, but I saw no spore. Uh, perhaps a different sort of beast. The two students who are missing are called Akamas and Theoros. Theoros? Makarios' his brother? The same. I fear I have failed the magistrate. I'll look at the campsite and see what I can find. Ιστοιχείτε πόλεμον το σου το άθλι και οι κτρί. Οι θεοί θυμοβολήσεις αποστελούσε τη μόνη την όση των μεταστικής μόνη. Ένα burned patch. Κάποιος έπρεπε μια τόρτα σε σύγχρονη. Lost shield. That is a bad omen. Signs of battle. Body. Huh. He doesn't look much like Makarios or Xanthi. Must be the other boy. A trail. Someone ran towards the mountain heights. Could be Theoros. I should try to stay out of sight. Please 
is untie me. Thank you. I had almost given up. My gratitude, warrior. I was certain I would not see another day. What's your name? Theoros. Your brother worships you and will be overjoyed to see you. Makarios, has the time come for him to join the Agogi already? Yes, he already studies with trainer Iatrocles. Curse all of Olympus! He isn't ready for this. The world is tough, but if we look out for those we love, we can shield them from at least a little harm. I do not know that I can face my brother, all my brothers, again. Of course you can. Makarios worships you, but you can use that love to fuel your bravery and defeat your fear. Retrieve your shield from where you left it and return to the Yagogi. Soon, you'll embrace your brother again. Thank you, my friend. I will. Please, tell my mother that her sons will do the family proud.
What do you have to share with me, Mistios? Makarios is well placed at the Agogi. The trainer, Iatrocles, will be a hard taskmaster. But he will grow strong and brave. God's willing, he'll find a way to endure and thrive. It is not easy to send one's heart into the world. He's eager and bright. And he has Theoros there to guide and inspire him. They will support each other. You demonstrate the wisdom of Athena, Eagle Bearer. You are a blessing to this family. There are several in the region who could benefit from your presence, Eagle Bearer. Help them, inspire them, and I'll reward you. Give me their names. The farm owner, Laniki, as well as several of the town's important women, Zita, Zamia, and Zefxo. I'll find them and see what they want of me. May the Dioscuri watch over your path. Ira and Aphrodite, please grant my daughter the virtue of obedience. Eagle Bearer, you bless this temple with your presence. If I may ask, I'm having a little problem. I'm not a problem. I'm a Spartan. You keep at home supervising farmers while I could be out in the world finding adventure. You give my brothers the chance to explore. Why not me? An explorer, are you? So, you're the Eagle Bearer everyone's been talking about. I hope you live up to your reputation. I'm Zophiras. Could you please educate my daughter to behave as a Spartan woman should? If both you and Zophiras agree, I'll train your daughter to be a fine Spartan. Beginning with her physical strength, of course. It's the only way she can keep your household safe and prosperous. The Eagle Bearer is right, Mater. Spartan women must be strong. You can call me Alexios. I suppose if the Eagle Bearer says it. All right. Train my daughter as you see fit. Let's begin your training with running. Try to keep up. But Spartans never run. Only cowards do. Why should I train in running? Strong legs mean you'll thrust your spear with more force. And yours do seem very strong. Let's race through the theater to the entrance of the Dromos. Last one there's a wounded goat.
Glad you could make it. I'll get you next time. Now we'll race horses, but not like they do in the athletic games. We'll make our own course. Horses? Why should I bother with those filthy beasts? We have Elotes for that. Horses are beasts of muscle and power. You'll never understand until you hold one between your thighs. Well, when you put it that way, ride on. Let's race to the bridge south of Sparta. Ready? Go! horse wasn't feeling so good today. Don't blame the beast for your shortcomings. How are my lessons so far, Zophiras? Not bad. But why did you decide to teach me anyway? Don't you have more exciting things to do? Treasures to find, tyrants to depose... If no one taught, people would live alone in their ignorance. By sharing knowledge, we grow closer together. I might like to get closer. Do you have a suggestion for our next bit of training? There's a place I found in the southern hills with a wonderful view. Will you go there with me? I like the view already, but let's go. So, does that bird follow you everywhere? Icaros. Yes, he likes to keep an eye on me. Are you jealous? <laughs> what are you doing? You don't mind being watched. I don't either. Did Zeus give you any special powers? Achilles got invulnerability, and at least the strength of a god. <laughs> if you know the old stories, you know what Zeus is especially good at. You have that kind of talent. Just call me Pandora. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely. I think I'm beginning to understand you, Alexios. Are you? Tell me, who do you think I am? You answer my questions with such passion and authority. You like being in charge, don't you? You might be right. But really, why did you bring me out here? I thought we might continue our training with something more... personal. But you seem exhausted from keeping up with me for so long. Thanks for the exercise, though. Uh, I have to train more myself.
This area will be well defended. Uh, what do you think you're doing? For glory! Wonderful! Magistrate Xanthi has spoken highly of you. Very kind of her. So here's the thing. My children have promising futures, but they refuse to learn and study. They think they know better, but they can't recite a poem to save their lives. Where do I fit into this? They've heard of the Eagle Bearer and worship the ground you walk on. If you related an epic story to them, I'd bet they retain it and impress their tutors. It's an odd request, but I've been asked to do stranger things. I'll do it. My children are waiting inside the temple of the Onisus Colonatas for today's epic story. The subject is Perseus, which they should know well, but seem to forget all when question. I know this story well, of course, but my preferred version may not be what your children expect. Do not fear. If you need a reminder, there are many relics related to Perseus in the hall adjacent to the Temple of the Onesus Colonatas. Good to know. Hello, I'm... The Eagle Barrett. We've heard all about you. Are you going to tell us a story today? Do we have to listen? We've heard it a hundred times. Yes, that's me. And yes, I'm telling you a story. Let us sing with the voice of the gods about the exploits of brave Perseus and the noble Pegasus. The great god of the sea, Poseidon, visited a mortal woman, Sara, a fisherman's daughter. The god of the sea frolicked with her in the shape of a dolphin, and she knew his love. Ugh. Is this a kissing story? Relax, I'm just setting it up. Soon, Sara gave birth to a child, the half-blood hero, Perseus. I thought Perseus' mother's name was Danai, like my sister. Yeah, and his father was Zeus. Ah, uh, well, that's true in some versions. Anyway, at some point, baby Perseus fell off a boat and almost drowned. Perseus and his mother Danai were rescued on the island of Seriphos, and Perseus grew up under the care of a kindly fisherman. Victis. Lucky them. Did the gods help? Maybe. Perseus learned to swim and ride and fight, and how to be good and just, even though his father was only a fisherman. I can do all those things too. Yeah, good for you. Except swim or be just. Hush. Now, Victis' brother was ruler of the island, but he was not a good man. He's scum. The cruel king of Seriphos, Victis' brother, Polydectis, decided he wanted to marry Danai, for she was still beautiful and noble. But Perseus knows his mother does not want this. Victis couldn't stop his brother, so it was up to Perseus to interfere and be annoying. <laughs> Christos, that's your job. I will keep the stinky king from marrying you. The cruel and, uh, stinky king became angry. To get rid of Perseus, Polydectis sent him on an impossible quest. Prove yourself a warrior, and fetch me a worthy wedding gift, the king said. 
by killing a great monster. I knew it! Shh, I knew it too. Polydectes told Perseus to bring back the head of Medusa, the Gorgon whose gaze could turn anyone who looked into her eyes to stone. Ah! Polydectes knew that Medusa would be Perseus' death. That stinker! But the evil king did not know Perseus was favored by the gods. Hermes gifted Perseus with winged sandals and a silver sickle, and Athena gave him a bronze shield polished mirror bright. Perseus flew to Medusa's lair and used the shield to watch her reflection. He cut off her head with the sickle of Hermes. As she died, the winged foal, Pegasus, sprung from her neck. Yes! Flying home, Perseus found the maiden Andromeda, chained on the Ethiopian cliffs, waiting to be sacrificed to the baleful sea monster, Ketos. Perseus used Medusa's head to turn Ketos to stone, rescued Andromeda, and married her. Take that, Ketos! Perseus returned home to find King Polydectes relentlessly pursuing Danae. They quarreled, and Perseus showed the king his wedding gift. When he saw Medusa's head, Polydectes turned to stone. Yes! Perseus traveled to Argos with his family, and one day competed in the great athletic games. He hurled the discus, and his throw was so great that it shot into the stands and struck King Acrisius. So doing, Perseus killed his grandfather and fulfilled the prophecy. Hurrah! You can't escape your fate. In the end, Perseus and Andromeda settled in Mycenae as king and queen, and had seven sons and two daughters, the Perside. That was a great telling of the tale. I'll never forget it. Maybe the best. I can't wait to tell all my friends! Ah, oh, thank you. I couldn't help overhearing the end of your story. Truly inspiring, Eagle Bearer. Thank you. Uh. Ah. Stay focused. Find the cut. 
Amor. Come on.
wouldn't happen to be the eagle bearer, would you? Me? Yes, I am. Where do you know justice? Your hair must have been woven by Athena. Your body is like a sculpture made by the masters. And your arms look so strong. Strong enough to... Strong enough to... Strong enough to carry this basket to my husband, Kalibos. Oh, right. The magistrate mentioned you. It'll be easy to carry. Thank you so much. Let me know if you need anything. I'll help with your delivery. Heavy. What's in here? Bricks? Mistios? Well met. What brings you to our camp? You are Kalibos. Your wife sent me to deliver this package. I think it might be some kind of offering. Zefxo is a good woman. She's gifted me with a basket fit for Dionysos. Earthly pleasures? She made it sound like it was a case of life and death. A deathly hangover, maybe. Boys, we're having a good night. Care to join us, friend? Are you sure you want your soldiers this intoxicated while in the field? Oh, I must have misjudged you. Are you not also a Spartan? The only thing we are better at than fighting is drinking. I see your point. I never say no to good wine and good company. I expected no less from you. Could someone pass the water skin? Oh, could someone pass my head? I think I left it farther down the beach. Surely this is the after effects of the mushrooms. I remember the chicken coop. I remember the farmer's field. I do not remember building a Trojan horse. Uh, it was just here when I woke up. We offer it to the gods for safe passage across the seas. Boys, let's move this down to the beach. Charge! Ah! 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 Ah!
boasted to a friend that I was a better tactician than Odysseus himself. Today I was proven wrong. You live to fight another day. Learn from this. Please, thank my wife for her festive gift. I don't know if I should thank her or curse her. Come on, come on. Come on. 